Hi, welcome to DeskWorks. Uh, processing payments in DeskWorks uh, is very, very simple, as is sending out invoices to your members, uh, primarily because DeskWorks is designed in order to automate those functions for you as much as possible. Um, so if we take a look at uh, a sample member that we've created here, we'll call him John Payment. There he is. You come in into this uh, search page and you can select the person that you want to work with. So you select your member, you'll see their name here, and then the pages that you're going to be looking at in billing will all be related to that person. So if we come down under billing, uh, we can check and we can uh, input a, a card or payment method as needed for this person if they don't already have it. Um, and then you can set up, if they're a member, a recurring billing or an automated billing for this person. Um, so this automated recurring billing uh, will create a new invoice uh, for the member each month uh, based on this next bill date. Um, so you, you can uh, basically tell the software to create an invoice a certain number of days before this next bill date, uh, however many you want, three or five, and then those days will pass uh, after the invoice is created and emailed to the member. And then once the next bill date uh, occurs, that's when payment will automatically be attempted. Um, where the invoice is created uh, is here on the post payments or charges page. So uh, in order it is created, it would look just like this, uh, and it would show you uh, just the details here on this page, uh, but then you can look further into uh, the order. Uh, you can use this icon here, an eyeball icon. If you click on that, it's going to take you here into uh, a PDF version of the invoice for this order. So you can review that PDF here, uh, or you can download that uh, PDF by clicking this button, and you would be able to save that to your computer, and you could send that out as you needed to through your own email client. Uh, now, to add a payment to this order, um, all you would need to do if you wanted to do this manually rather than just waiting for the next bill date uh, to, to swing around uh, is you can go on into the edit icon here. If we click on that, it's going to take us here into the order where you can see all the contents of the order. Um, and um, then you just click on at a payment. Uh, now we have a payment fee set up and I, I tested this earlier. So there's another fee showing up there. You can disregard that. Um, and uh, yeah, all you need to do is just make sure the details are correct. You can add any notes that you wish. Um, if you're manually processing a payment, uh, you have the ability to select between different cards or, or methods of payment that you have on file. Uh, and uh, you don't even have to actually uh, process this as a live transaction. You can also just record transactions if you receive cash, check, or another type of payment. Um, but uh, processing a payment is credit slash debit card. What that'll do is when you click submit payment, that is going to send um, a uh, transaction uh, from DeskWorks over into your authorized.net gateway. And authorized.net is then going to communicate with the credit card company or bank, uh, and it's going to get an authorization for the payment amount. Uh, if that authorization is approved, uh, then that's going to go back uh, into uh, uh, authorized.net and authorized.net that will then send back that approval message uh, into DeskWorks. And that's what you're seeing here is this new line item that's been added is a successful payment because that authorization has then been approved. Now, um, if you wanted to send out uh, an invoice um, to multiple people um, or even a single person, or if you wanted to process payments uh, for multiple people, uh, down here under accounting, you also have uh, bulk options, so bulk invo invoicing and bulk credit cards card charges. Uh, both of these operate and look almost identical. If we look at the bulk credit card charges, you see this is just going to be a list of open unpaid orders for your members. Uh, and you can review those on this page uh, by clicking this arrow over on the right. That expands it so you can look inside the order, make sure that it's the one that you're looking for. And then you can check the boxes along the left. Um, and on this page, the bulk credit card charges, uh, whichever boxes are checked, if you click that, it'll automatically uh, attempt to payment on that, or if we were using the bulk invoicing, this would say um, uh, uh, send emails. And when you click that, and a, a PDF invoice uh, would be automatically emailed out to the member's email address on their profile page. Uh, yeah, and so it's it's really just that simple. Uh, if you have everything set up, uh, you hopefully uh, shouldn't need to create too many uh, uh, orders on your own. Uh, you just let the system go ahead and do that for you. Uh, but if you ever need to, it's just as simple as going into the post payments or charges page uh, and uh, either 
editing the existing order or just creating a new purchase and building an invoice manually from the ground up and then clicking add a payment. Uh, so I hope that this has been helpful uh, and let us know if you have any questions. Uh, thanks so much and have a great day. Thank you.